Hello students. Welcome back to your computer class. Today's topic is relation between hardware and software. Before moving towards the topic, let's flash back to hardware and software. Hardware is a physical component of computer which can be which, which we can see and touch. Software is a set of code or a set of instructions which tells the computer what to perform and how to perform. Now come towards the topic that is relation between hardware and software. Now hardware is nothing without a software and a software is nothing without a hardware. I'm just giving you a life example of it okay just imagine a scenario that there is a person uh, he is physically fit okay a healthy person a very fit person he is absolutely fine but he has no understanding power so that body that person is useless because it cannot perform any action or activity. Now, let's suppose a person having a very good mind, okay, a very good understanding power, but unfortunately he is paralyzed. Now also the case is same, okay, now also he is not able to perform any task, any activity. So to perform an activity or task, you must need a healthy body as well as a healthy mind, as well as a good understanding power. Then only you can perform activities. Okay. Now let's move for the next stop. Next slide. Now. Here is a diagram of hardware, so system software, application software, and user. Okay, now I had already defined you that hardware are the physical components of a computer which you can see and touch. Okay, it may be your uh, your monitor, keyboard, mouse, UPS, CPU, whatever. Okay, now software is something which tells the computer what to do how to do how to perform activity and all just like if i will say that uh, just go and bring a glass of water for me okay what is this this is just an instruction okay you had just listened that instruction and you will perform the activity you will go to your kitchen or wherever uh, from wherever you will get the water okay you will go there and get some water and came back okay how you come to know you came to know just because of that instruction okay so to manage that hardware you must need a software fine okay now let's move to the another slide okay this is one hierarchy of a data okay bit byte field record file and database fine so what is bit bit is a smallest unit okay a very smallest unit it is a smallest unit to uh, to measure uh, information okay a basic unit of information in information technology generally it comprises of either 0 or 1 okay it is also known as a binary okay uh, I think you are well known about the binary language which is comprises of 0 and 1 only okay now byte now what is byte a group of binary digits are known as a byte as you know the hierarchy of standard unit of mass that is millimeter centimeter decimeter and meter 
decameter, hectometer, kilometer. Okay, this is the hierarchy of your standard unit of mass. As much as like that, you are having a hierarchy of a uh, measuring a memory in computer also. That is your bit, byte, kilobyte, megabyte, and uh, gigabyte, and uh, so on. Okay. Now, uh, field. Okay. Now, what is field? A single piece of information is known as a field. A single piece of information is known as a field. You just uh, remember these things. Later on, I will give you a full flash example. So, it will clear the topic very easily. Okay. Now, record. A complete set of field is known as record. Okay. What is record? A complete set of fields is known as record. Now, what is file? It is a group of records used to provide full flash information. Okay. Now, what is database? A place where we usually keep our information. Fine. Now, just take an example. Database. Okay. Database, just like, as in that, database is just like your Godrej Almira. Okay. Now, what is file? A file is a safety locker in that Almira. Okay. Now, what is record? Record is a kind of a safety box which is present in that locker. Okay. Okay. Now, what is field? Field is a space where you are going to keep that data. Okay. Now, what is byte and bit? That is a specific space where the data is going to be placed. Fine. Now, look at the slide. So, bit. Bit is a form of bit. Bit, bit is nothing, but it comprises of 0 and 1 and it is the smallest unit of a memory okay combination of bit combination of bit is known as a byte okay one more thing one byte is equal to eight bits okay one byte is equal to eight bits now field let's suppose there is a name okay record let's suppose there is a complete information of that name submit Okay, now what is record? The complete information of Sumit will be known as a record. Now, what is file? Like Sumit, there are n number of contexts. Togetherly, when we collab that, that will comprise a file. Now, database, database is something where we are going to keep that file. Okay. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, just have a look. There are few domains in your uh, in this slide. Okay, that is first name, last name, address, and city. Okay, this will represent as a field. The first name is one field. Your last name is second field. Address is your third field city is your fourth field independently like Milton okay Milton will be represent as a field okay now next is your next is your last name last name will represent as a field okay so on independently this will be known as a field fine okay now record now what is record if i go for the entire data 
like first name last name address and city this is going to act as a record okay now let's go for the next slide okay fine here it's represented this is a record this is a second record third record sorry uh, just hold on this is a first record this is a second record this is a third one fourth one so on down the line the entire row will be represent as a record in the term of database it is also known as tuple okay and entirely this page which print which represents a number of details that is known as a file and wherever we will keep this file the place will be known as a database okay now let's suppose this file is going to place on your computer in your d drive okay that d drive will be represent as a database okay now i'm going to sum up this again let's suppose you are having a almira that is a database you are having a locker that is a file you are having a safety box that is a record okay after that you are having a field a space where you are going to place that ornaments okay and uh, at last bit and by that are the ornaments okay so that's all for the day thank you